Welcome to Crack Testing Interview. In this video, we are going to learn difference between final and finally in Java. So final and finally are keywords in Java. So each of the keywords has a different functionality. Let us understand with the real time example. We'll start from final. Final is the keyword and access modifier which is used in class, method and variable. I'll declare a variable over here. So final in speed equal to 60. So if I declare a variable with the final keyword, this is constant one. This value is constant. So I'll declare another variable without uh, you know final keyword in C2 equal to 75. So now I have declared two variable. Two variable, one is with final keyword, one is without final keyword. So I'll try to create a method over here. Public void drive. So here I'm, if I'm trying to change the value of, uh, you know, this variable. If I try to change 100. So what happened now? The final field, you know, final field cannot be assigned over here, right? So as soon as you try to change the value of the final variable, compiler thrown error over here, right? It says that final, final field cannot be assigned. So I'll try to change the value of uh, this variable. Suppose P2 equal to 200. So now I can able to change the value because final is a constant. Once declared, final variable becomes constant and cannot be modified. Right. Same way we can go for go for method as well. So I'll go over here. I'll try to create a method public final. Final keyword, final void sample. Right. So the final method cannot be overridden by subclass. Right. So I'll copy this. I'll go over here. I will paste this. I just wanted to extend this class. Extends final method. So final method, once I extended the, this method, so what happened here, it is throwing a error. Right, if it is extended that, this is the parent class, this is the child class. Right, so final method cannot be overridden by subclass. So that is what we, the final keyword in the method level. So if you go into the class level, right. So if I go over here, if I try to change the class as a final. So now what happened? If I go over here, here I can able to see the error because it will throw, we are not able to inherit. If it is a class is a final, we are not able to inherit the class. Right, final class cannot be inherited. So you need to remember in three things in the final. Final variable becomes constant and cannot be modified. And the final method cannot be overridden by subclass. Final class cannot be inherited, right? So this is what final. So we'll go for a finally. Finally is, you know, finally is the block in uh, Java exception handling. I created a uh, method over here. So this is exception handling with the try block, catch block and finally block, right? So finally block will be executed, you know, execute the, uh, Execute the import important code, whether the exception occurs or not, right? Finally, blocks is always related to the try and catch block, right? So finally, block is here, you know, it is executed as soon as the try catch block is executed. So it's execution, right? It is finally block execution is not dependent on the any other execution, any, any exception. Finally is the block in Java exception. Suppose Usually what happens, if it is any exception, it will come into the catch block, right? 
if the exception is there it will come into the catch block if the exception is not there it is not going to come into the catch block it will come into the continuous execution but here in a finally block whether the exception is there or not finally block always will execute now here exception is there suppose if i run this the finally block is executed right now i'll remove the error exception over here so now what happened catch block won't coming only finally block will executed right so exception is there are not finally block always going to execute so you can say finally is the block in java exception handling right i hope this is clear thank you